Hey everybody, Ricky of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Wednesday afternoon, November the 30th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 3 this evening, folks. 6.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a 6 furlong sprint on the dirt. Phillies and mares, 3 years old, and up rates for a claiming prize of some $19,000. Contenders, number 1, Espresso Royale. Number 5, Grey Goddess. Number seven, Queen of the Lake, and number two, A Powerful Dream. Number one, Espresso Royale is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field. Comes off a nearly five-length power run win to break her maiden in her first asking. She goes to the post tonight with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of William Otero and Jamie Ness in her corner. They fit the board with an impressive 77% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number five, Grey Goddess, a 4-1 to shot, has hit the board in three of her last five starts overall, including a win to break her maiden in her fifth race back. Race three summary, number one, Espresso Royale, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number five, Grey Goddess, number seven, Queen of the Lake, and number two, A Powerful Dream, 1572, and the third from Penn Nat. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race four, entry number four, Big Bruin, five to one on the morning line, qualifies Trackmaster plus Power Pony, dry, drops in class, decent overall speed for this eight and a half for a long test on the dirt. Charlestown, race five, number eight, Mama Jane, eight to one on the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony, drops in class by 11 units, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of her last five, including a 10 length power run win in her fifth race back. So from Penn National on a Wednesday night, Rick Needham for DayAtTheTrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.